Hello and welcome. In earlier videos, we have seen how to create an application. So we created this application called Training 1.0. We also saw how to create a new problem. <clears throat> so we created this problem, P-001 titled Website Crash. Now we will see how to use the fishbone associated with this problem to you know, take our investigation forward. Right. So here we are on the fishbone page. Uh, now, there are many things that we can do here. And the first thing that starts is, I mean, let's simulate a real situation. So what happens is that when you get into the situation and uh, you want to put some people on the job to look at the different parts of the fishbone. So for example, uh, when let's say database you and uh, you want to assign it to one of your team members. So there are these triple dots here and uh, you can actually click on them and this menu opens up and there's a button called assign to and you can click on this here and you can you know assign it to the people here and uh, let's say i'm going to assign it to julie so that is that let me close it there uh, what you could also do is you could uh, just select this you don't have to click on this triple dot you can right click and i can do the same thing and uh, let me assign it to somebody else. Let me assign this to Terry. That's that. And uh, this is, by the way, not the only place from where we can do this. You see this panel here is called Cost Tree. You click on this and you see this open up. Now, I want to use this Cost Tree to make an assignment. So let's say I select App ACU. And uh, there you find that there are these icons here. Uh, if I hover on this, actually says assigned user so I'm going to click on this and essentially the same thing and from here I let's say I assign it to Ron Spencer so there there are different ways in which I can assign people all right now let me come back to this let, let's suppose these people who have been intimidated by the way every time I do this uh, it triggers an email that they get and now they have come on to the job so what do they do these are you know experts in their relative irrelevant uh, corresponding areas so they know exactly how to go about investigating the problem so one of the things that they would probably start with doing is they will start recording which are the different angles that they want to investigate like for example I'm investigating DBEC all right so what we could do here is we can add sub causes to this so this my DB issue is, is a cause of a potential cause of why the website crashed and now we can add some sub causes to this now the way to do that is again you can click on these triple dots it will open up this menu you can click here and there now because it's a database issue so there's a drop down. it's not a drop down it's an autocomplete list that opens up and you can just choose one so for example you might say it's a query issue and you do it that way and what that will do is it will insert this issue here you don't need to stop here again the same thing you can actually right click on this and pretty much does the same thing so okay any new sub cause and you can choose something let's say you choose uh, uh, something like an index issue so that is that and you can insert that cause again but again we don't this is not the only place from which we can do this this is something which again can be done from the cost tree so you can click on the cost tree we are on my db issue so i'm here and i select this and then there is a plus icon here. I click on it and there we go. It opens up and I, all I need to do is I type. So let me type something like, yeah, I want to say memory issue, but it al already opens it up for me. So I'm just going to select memory issue and uh, that should do it. And it has added memory issue here. So I'm just going to refresh this fishbone. So while that is happening, what I would like to say is that apart from you know assigning people to your different causes, it's great that we are assigning them people there. We might also want to give them a deadline, some kind of a due date. So let's say I'm I'm on, on DBAC here, and again from the cause tree, there is this icon here. If I click on it, it will ask allow me to enter a due date. So in this case, of course. We all want to do it within here, so it's not a due date, more like a due time to us hence. So that's that. And like most things, uh, for DB, we pull in, pull in the due date from there. But let's say for network issue, we will do it from here. So again, if you click on these triple dots, 
there's a due date option that opens up here and then again you can select it by clicking on this calendar icon again it's probably just a couple of hours so it's more like a due time rather than a due date to get the point likewise uh, we can enter sub causes wherever we want so for example for my network issue uh, you can enter something like maybe a DNS issue. This is by no means restrictive. I mean, if you want, you can straight away type, you know, some, uh, you can type some, some random issue if you want and, and it will work. I don't want to do that. I'm going to delete this. <laughs> you can delete, by the way. So uh, there's delete cause and you can delete it like this. So let's, let's enter something meaningful. So DNS, yeah, pretty relevant from a, a network perspective. Uh, anything else? Maybe something to do with a firewall. It's already here. So yeah, there we go. Uh, right. And since it's network, so one of my favorite topics whenever I want to go to a network is a router. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not there, but I want to investigate. So I'm going to enter it. Now, we have been entering sub-causes at this level, but we can go deeper. So for example, for router, I want to go even deeper. So I can click on this triple dot, I can right click. Essentially, all I want to do is I would still want to enter a new sub-cause. And uh, I want to explore the switch issue problem. Now observe carefully, it will actually, yeah, that's it. So that's a router issue, and it has, it's a nested view, so it has actually taken me a bit deeper. So this is a layering feature in our product and I can add more. So for example, I can add hardware, hardware DC. Yeah, so like I was saying, this is a layering feature that we have. We don't want to clutter up our front page with too many sub causes. So we, the moment it crosses a certain depth, we bring it up here and you can, there's a breadcrumbs here, which actually tells you that this is actually coming from website crash into my network issue and then into router issue. So we can click here and it will take us back or we can click on this up arrow and it will take us back. So that's how the nested control works. Now what we would like to do is we would just like to fill up these other you know so it's a application so let's say I want to explore a code issue like here I'm doing it for our benefit but actually it's a person who's been assigned to is a person who's probably going to be doing this and maybe something to do with the configuration so that is that the only thing which is left is web and uh, let's see when it comes to web i would like to look at things like config that's important and i would also like to look at balancing or load issue so if it's not there, I would like to enter it myself. There it goes. And having done all of that, I realize that as of now, we don't want anybody looking at here. It's too fuzzy. So if you want, you can actually go and delete this other issue which is hanging there. You don't have to keep this. That. Now at this point in time, we have added our sub causes and we have assigned people to them. Uh, there are priorities here, so you can click on priorities and make it high priority, urgent, or or you could toggle it again and leave it normal, not an issue. So, going in a subsequent, so this is this is how we kind of beef up the fishbone a bit by filling in these sub causes, and we can actually go further deeper, like we did with the router issue. So this becomes a starting point for you know different people or actually different teams to start looking at the different layers of the tech stack, all with a single-minded aim of solving this incident or this problem. In a subsequent video, we will take a look at some of the other things that we can do with these uh, with this fishbone to help in our problem resolution or incident resolution process. Thank you.